Hello, Tomodashi. So, um, anyhow, um, I don't know why, but I, like, I played this game a long time ago on the PS3. And, uh, now I'm doing it again. Um, I don't know why. I just, I just started again for some reason. I actually played through this whole game with my brother, um, both on the PS3 and then again on Steam. When it came on Steam, I was very happy. And, um, although it does have, like, these live service elements in it, you know, so I shouldn't like it, I mean... <laughs> I mean, yeah, look who's talking. Um, but, I mean, just something about the gameplay loop, I keep doing it. And, um, I guess one of it is that I really like the characters. Like, um, they actually give you, like, they let you play as all sorts of different characters. Like, look at this. I don't even think I have all of them, but maybe I do. Uh, that, that guy's not very interesting, obviously, but, I mean, you've got Hunk, well-named. Um, you got Albert. Yeah, he's awesome. Always awesome. Whoa! It looks like he can have another gun, yo. Let me put another gun in him. That'll be a good gun for him. Um, he's already got that, so... Um, let's see. So, uh, yeah. It's got a really good cast. Like, lots and lots and lots of different characters. Um, which is nice. And it gives you... Very, I guess the best way to describe it is it's kind of like a fantasy RPG with like uh, elemental attacks and all of that, but you know, like real time battles, even though the enemies are kind of bullet spongy at the higher levels, obviously. And, um, I should never say that. You should never say, um, by the way. That's some advice from a very smart man. Don't waste your time saying, um, nobody wants to hear you saying, um, or maybe talking about why you shouldn't say, um. Where was I? Oh, another thing you probably shouldn't see. Okay. So... Wow, I keep doing that. Okay. So let's just do this, and uh, you can see for yourself. But yeah, I like Moira. Uh, I think she's really cool. Like, she has, like, some vulnerability, but um, she's not, like, just, like, pathetic and contemptible. Um, she, she does her best to help people around her. She cares about kids, you know. She's a nice person. She's kind of like, you know, she's damaged, obviously, and kind of like, you know. But, I mean, she's not like a jerk, Sue. She's not mean. She's just, you know, she's had some, some bad experiences. So, you know, she's a bit damaged, but she's still um, a good, kind, loving person. And I like her. Um, I would watch a movie about Moira, because it would be way better than the movies that are getting made now. Because it'd be about a better character, someone who's actually likable and not just invincible and able to do anything without trying because the director said so. I hate it when movies do that. Like, I don't sympathize with the character if they don't have any real struggles. It makes me, you know, everyone likes underdogs, underdog stories, you know? So if you make your main character like OP and like, you know, just some horrible jerk Sue. Then nobody likes your story, because now your main character is not an underdog, your main character is a privileged overdog who just has everything handed to them in life. Whoa! The fact that I am actually not as strong as this guy, and I have to run from him, makes me better. More interesting to watch. If I could just, like, punch him in the face and he just, like, falls down and cries, then I'm the bully! that I have to run from him and wear him down. That makes me the hero. I'm the, the little person fighting the big person that wants to smash me. That makes me heroic. And it doesn't work if I'm too powerful. Which is why I'm playing with a level 100 character. But I'm playing against level 105 enemies. So I am still a hero. The reason to do the level 105 enemies, by the way, instead of, like, smurfing on uh, lower level enemies, is because only the Code Red missions will drop level 100 weapons. Which are the only kind of weapon that you can upgrade beyond their limits. Which is a fancy way of saying that you can just, like, raise their stats. Just, like, brute force the stats up. Which I did a bit with the submachine gun here. So now it's actually a kind of effective weapon, which it wasn't before. Kind of. That guy's a doom effect. If he gets any closer to me, I'm gonna be doomed. I don't like being doomed. It's 
one of the reasons I would never join the military. Even though I come from a military family. On a related note, if you've seen my other videos, you'll know I'm a worthless orphan. So... Yeah, don't join the military. Don't do that to your kids. Seriously. Children need parents! Value your own life more than some evil corpo who wants to start a war to get marginally higher profits. Have some respect! Even if you don't love yourself, love your kids. Your life is worth more than any of these horrible wars. Because there's no such thing as a good war. The only good war is a dead war. Okay? The only good war is a dead war. Remember that. Getting political. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Because it has to be said. Especially now. Seriously. Everyone's... Everyone seems to be hot to kill each other right now. Makes me sad. Um, so anyhow... We're the good guys because we're fighting... Um, the bad guys. And, uh, we're not as strong as they are, but we do our best. We do our best with what we have. Uh, we're... We haven't played this in a while, so we kind of forgot our way up. Okay, this is the way up. No! Okay, bad guys incoming! Use the environment! Uh, maybe I used it a little bit too soon, but I mean... Can't win them all! Cast, uh, damage over time on him. Fire effect. See, it really is a fantasy game, even if it doesn't realize it. I mean, it has, like, the... skin of a... Well... It has the skin of a shooter, but under the hood, it's really a, an action fantasy game. He's literally a raid boss. I don't know you! Keep your dirty hands off me! this guy has. This is like, I need to edit the video to make this encounter shorter. All my ammunition! Gone! This one bad guy. All my magnum ammunition anyway. the shield effect. It's kind of random what effect the bad guys have, but I really hate this one! Because it makes your weapons ineffective! And I'm running out of weapons now at this point. Click, click! Oh no! Not the shotgun! Not like this! The shotgun is almost useless! Oh no! Whoa! Click, click! Whoa! Click, click! This doesn't usually happen to me, because they have a scavenger-like perk that makes it so the enemies will drop ammunition sometimes, but... This is the first time they randomly gave the bullet sponge status effect to the raid boss. <laughs> this actually makes the game look really terrible. Whoa. 
This doesn't usually happen. I think this may literally be the first time that they gave that effect to the ridiculously powerful raid boss. Hmm. Well, now I'm effectively unarmed, but I mean, worse things could happen. I've still got a sword! Alright. Uh, some people are much better uh, much better equipped than I am, and also maybe better at the game. I saw a video where this guy had like a Muramasa, which is usually a slow firing OP, very powerful musket, and but he had a, like a Muramasa and like he had like the burst fire mod on it, so like he was just had effectively a full auto high powered sniper rifle, and he, he was just chewing up the level like nobody's business. But um, I don't have that. So, um, edged weapons in this fantasy game. Bye bye!